One person. Faster, faster, faster. One year. We're just getting started. You got 364 days after this. One amazing transformation. I'm Chris Powell. I'm Heidi Powell. And this is what we do. Come on, throw those punches. You had the potential to be great. And what you don't get is that you still have the potential to be great. Choose to be different. Choose to change. Everything you've got, that's what it takes. Go! Take control of your life. You've got to get to the reasons why. Because until you find them, you will not transform. What you're about to see will be the most important year in one person's life. What do you want? I want to be happy. Welcome to your new life. <laughs> Tonight on Extreme Weight Loss. I'm the biggest woman ever. Meet Pearls, the devoted single mom of a special needs son. Every day is a special occasion to me. Whose relationship with food has led her to extremes. I started taking over-the-counter diet pills about this age. Never again. Never again. Lucky for her, the pals are going to help this autism activist get active. Now you show life what's up. You show boot camp what's up. And face her eating disorder head on. You have to be okay with feeding your body. I know there's here there. You know. I know there is. Plus, Pearls gets the surprise of a lifetime. No way! From her idol, Holly Robinson Pete. I'm so blown away by what you do for so many. Thank you so much. And her oh. son hits the ring with WWE champion Seth Rollins. Yeah, buddy. Ten. I don't want to at the bench, you know? I don't want to be sidelined. But sometimes, old habits die hard. The thought of not eating came to my mind instantly. All leading up to a suspenseful final weigh-in, 365 days in the making. I have so many pearls. Pearl bracelets, pearls with bling on it, fancy big pearls. My name is Tiffany. Everybody calls me Pearls. I'm 36 years old and I'm 150 pounds overweight. I almost always wear my pearls because it's like a security blanket. It draws attention away from all of this. And I want the attention to be here. I want it to be Tiffany is a great person and she's pretty because she wears pearls, not because she's gigantic. Seventh grade, junior high years, these were really rough years. You were so pretty though. Thank you, I did not feel pretty. I felt like the ugliest, fattest girl in the world. I started taking over-the-counter diet pills about this age because I felt fat. As a young teen, I was so obsessed with being thin that I would not eat all day long. I would take over-the-counter diet pills during the day to keep me from wanting to eat. And then at night, I would take laxatives to make sure that anything that I had eaten was gone. This is my first husband. We got married a month before my 18th birthday. I was completely anorexic. I feel like he helped pull me out of that. I felt like everything was perfect with us. We were married almost eight years. We waited two years before we had Mason, but he was kind of distant for a while, and then he actually left. This is my pride and joy. This is my son, Mason. Mason, that's a cool shirt you got on. Tell me about that shirt. Well, I usually wear this on special occasions, but every day is a special occasion to me. He wears it for workouts. He wears it all the time. Yeah, I've got to peel it off of him to wash it. It's like my signature T-shirt. Yeah. I noticed real quick at about age two or three, he was not talking like his peers. He was different from his peers. He was tantruming a lot. I know now that those are signs of autism, but I didn't know that then. When my husband left me, I ate a lot of cheese puffs and gained some weight and met a guy who I believe is sort of a chubby chaser. He left me for a competitive hot dog eater. <laughs> it kills me every time I say that. I mean, I think she has a real job, too, but that's she was actually in a hot dog eating competition the week before like he left. He would always say, don't get too skinny, don't get too skinny. And I stayed in a toxic relationship for seven years for his son. Chris came into my life, he was two and a half, and he has a form of autism called childhood disintegrative disorder. He developed normally until age four. He could count, he could sing, and then at age four, he lost every bit of it and just regressed into completely nonverbal. Right now, my stepson is in a group home. The last time I saw my stepson, my ex-husband had brought him to the park. And I told Chris, I'm so sorry that you're not home with me. I'm sorry that your dad took you. 
and I love you, and please just tell your dad to let you see me. And I know that he can't talk, but I wanted him to know. I mean, he can still understand. And that moment, he put his forehead on my forehead, and he said, Mom, and I just lost it. I was just so sad. My husband called me and said, don't ever ask about Chris again. You're not his mom anymore. I haven't seen him in two years. I miss him every single day. It was the biggest challenge of my life, but it's also been the biggest loss of my life. He was my baby. I mean, I met him when he was two and a half, and my husband didn't take him until he was 10. All of this weight represents me when I was with my second husband, me in the worst years of my life. I don't want to have to be living on energy drinks every day. I don't want to have to live off that anymore. I want to have natural energy, and I want us to be able to just live a healthy life. I want you to work out with me more. This article is about our conference. We do an autism conference every year for um, people in our community. And there's Mason and I. A lot of times they put us in the newspaper because we are kind of the voice of autism here. Do you have somebody in your family with autism? Yeah, my son. My son has autism. So I'm here in Wichita Falls, Texas today, and I'm watching Pearl set up this 5K event, and she's not even gonna run it. There's a water table over if anybody needs water. You know, I read Pearl's letter, and I'm really excited to work with her because hearing about the things that she's battled in her life, everything from anorexia to bulimia to overeating, these are all issues that I battled in my life as well. There was a good eight to 10 year period where food controlled every decision I made, and it is a very deep and dark place to be in. And it's something that I know I can help her with. Hey, everybody, welcome. You know, if she does want transformation bad enough, she's going to run her first 5K today. I want to thank you all for taking the time to come out and support this amazing charity. Let's see how bad she wants it. All right, who's ready to start this race? <laughs> chosen you okay but if you run the first 5k of your life the entire thing i don't want you to stop okay then tiffany i will choose you for the transformation of your life yes ma'am you ready for this yes ma'am <laughs> all right when heidi said i was gonna run that 5k without stopping at first i thought you're crazy ready What if I stop? Let's face ourselves, okay? I just knew if I stopped, I was going home. And I was staying home, and I wasn't getting chosen. How bad do you want this? So bad. Do you? Yeah. How bad? I can do it. Okay. I know you can. You can do anything. Let's go. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> so what's the furthest you've ever run? A quarter of a mile. A mile. No, before today. What's the furthest you've ever run? A quarter of a mile? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've sure passed a quarter of a mile. We're so coming up on a mile now. High five. Woo! Running the 5K with Pearls was so awesome. I mean, Pearls told me she'd only run a quarter of a mile unbroken before. Now she's running a 5K? I mean, that's something so huge to be proud of. After today, what's the furthest you're ever going to have run? 3.1 miles. Amen. That's what I like to hear. My legs are killing me. You know what? You're killing this 5K is what you're doing. OK? Mm -hmm. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. For the first two laps of the race, Pearls was in a great place. She was pushing through, and I could tell she was in a lot of pain, but it wasn't stopping her. I need you to have the lap. And then on the final lap, Pearls ended up starting to get a little bit lightheaded. I huh? gotta run. I gotta run. Right, I don't do want to quit. Do you I don't know. I don't know. I'm hurting. Do you need to throw up? <sighs> oh. Tiffany, how are you feeling? Dizzy. Like, did, are you? The first two laps of the run, Pearls really did amazing. And then on the final lap, Pearls ended up starting to get a little bit lightheaded. What'd you eat last? A salad. Huh? With chicken. 
Sally, did you eat carbs today? I mean, we need sugar. You have to be okay with feeding your body. I know there's more there. Clean. I know there is. That's why I need you, and that's why I can't stop. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. In her letter to me, she did say that eating disorder tendencies are something that she deals with on a daily basis. And to see how severe it was, that's the most worrisome thing to me. You have to trust yourself that when you eat food so for fuel, I know you are. Pearl's eating issues are much worse than I thought. We had to literally grab anything we could with sugar in it and give it to her. We made her drink a sports drink. We made her eat some gummy bears. Take those, all of them. Whatever we could find to fuel her body. All of them, don't be scared of them. <sighs> hey, you're gonna be okay. I think this is an important lesson that she needs to see food as fuel. Feeling a little bit better? Yes. That sugar hitting you? A little. Come on, this is the last lap. Oh my God. The last lap. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? How are you? I'm pretty good. You can do this, Mom. You're the real hero. Oh, oh you are the hero. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's why I stay on this planet to see my mom every day. I love you, son. You, you can do this. I've never seen him run, ever. If he's running, I'm going to keep running. He's watching me. His eyes are on me. And there's been 15 years that his eyes have been on me doing bad stuff. I got to do something right for once in my life. He's gonna watch me finish this and he's gonna watch me do something good. Run in there! I feel amazing right now. I've only ran a quarter of a mile in my entire life, and I just ran a bunch of quarters of miles straight. You earned this. Thank you. You earned this. This is gonna be one amazing year, and it is going to be harder than that by Kate. And if you can make it through that, you can make it through anything. Yes, ma'am. First things first, here in front of everybody today, you're gonna be weighing in. Okay. This is a really courageous step for Tiffany. She's gonna weigh in with no shirt on. Go ahead and take your very first step onto the scale. <laughs> 296 pounds. Never again. Never again. Can I kiss that goodbye? Yeah, I say goodbye. Bye. 296 pounds is a number. It's a number that's in the past already. As of today, that number's gone. Well, lucky for you, you get to spend the next 90 days with me and Chris in Colorado, where we are gonna walk you through everything, teach you the importance of exercise, of proper nutrition, and the secrets to true transformation, okay? Yes, ma'am. We're heading out tomorrow, all right? gonna be the hardest thing I've ever had to do telling them goodbye. I'm so close to my family and I'm so close to my friends that are like family. It's gonna be tough, but ultimately I need this. I'm saying goodbye just for a little bit and I'm gonna go back and go hard. Tell Chris I say hi. I'll tell Chris. The University of Colorado Anschutz Health and Wellness Center. Oh. You must Tiffany, be Tiffany. Meet Chris. Nice to meet you. I'm Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting Chris was surreal. It's really exciting. His energy is just, it rubs off on you. As you know, this year is going to be full of challenges that we're going to overcome physically. Right. But also, it's going to be full of challenges that we need to overcome emotionally, too. The greatest loss, one of the greatest losses of my life was losing my stepson. And um, I would do anything just to get to hug him again. And this year, maybe Chris and I can actually help you see your stepson again. That would be awesome. Let's talk about another part of your journey. Okay. Let's talk about something that you've always wanted to do, but you could never do because of your weight. I want to run a high heel run, and I really oh. want you to do it with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love it. Can you wear some pearls too? Yes, it. please. <laughs> wear pearls and high heels. How long are these high heel runs? I think they're just very short, like 0.5 Okay. For you? I will do it. <laughs> but I'll tell you wow. what, I'll do it if you hit your 90-day goal. OK. And I'll let him do it if you run something longer than a half K dash. Well, I actually kind of wanted to do something bigger because I've never been able to fit in a harness of mm -hmm. any type. And I really want to do, like, the aerial things, like the Cirque du Soleil type stuff that Pink does in her concert. Well, you've got 365 days. And we can do that. We can help you reach those goals. Awesome. The biggest challenge with Pearls this year is definitely going to be her food issues. We have something for you. 
She has an eating disorder. So this year is going to be about her taking control of food instead of letting food control her. Did you ever do that experiment in school where you carried an egg around yes. or a candy bar yes. and you had to take care of it like a baby? Yes. Well, you've just given birth to a <laughs> cheese puff baby. Okay. Now, here's the deal. You're going to carry around those cheese puffs for the next 90 days. Wow. Everywhere you go. Chris and Heidi hand me this bag of cheese puffs that is my trigger food, and I wonder how in the world are you going to trust me overnight with a bag of cheese puffs? much less 90 days. <laughs> this is something that you couldn't resist before. So this is gonna teach you power over your food. Time for you to take control of your life, starting now. I'm ready. You're we ready? got a big year ahead of us. Yes, we do. And we've got a big workout ahead of us. You did your 5K with Heidi, but tomorrow, I wanna see what I'm working with. Okay. So it's gonna be a workout with just you and me. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Today is Pearl's fight or flight workout. I'm gonna push her to her limits. I see you brought the cheese puffs. Yes, sir. But before we do, I wanna know where she wants to go. So I'm gonna let Pearl's name her own goal. So you're 296 pounds right now. In 90 days, I know how much you can lose. But I wanna put it in your hands. You see these numbers up here? Which one do you wanna hit? That one. 220. 220 pounds, 90 days. So that's 76 pounds to lose. The fact that Pearl's picked the highest number, which would be the smallest goal for her, I mean, that shows me that she's willing to take the easy way out. I wanna see you climb every step of this section all the way up to the 220. You touch it and you come right back down. Okay. You're gonna do that once for every week you're in boot camp. We're gonna keep going until you hit it 12 times, each time less than five minutes. So put these down. Let your fight or flight begin. That's it. Stair climbing, one of the best forms of exercise you can ever do. All lower body muscles. Biggest muscle group in the body, super low impact, especially if you got joint issues. So they, hard to breathe up here. They call these the nosebleeds for a reason. Yep. We're well over a mile high up here. You've been to a stadium before. Imagine hiking from the field up to the very top of the stadium 12 times with 100 pounds on your back. Oh, at 6,000 feet elevation too with the air stand. That's what Pearls was going through. Tiffany, you're doing great. Well within the five minute time cap. Let's go again. There you go. First couple, we're fine. You're two minutes in right now. Oh no. And you're falling behind. <laughs> but then he started telling me, you know, you're slowing down. You're not getting it. And then I started to feel like a failure. I'm a failure. <laughs> when did you fail in life before? Can't keep him husband. I feel like I'm a failure to my son. And these tears are beating my ass. Well, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you beat their ass? That's what this is all about. I want to see you turn it around. I want to see you own these stairs. I want to see you own every single week in boot camp. It's time for you to take control. It's time for you to attack. Not for life to attack you. No. If you let life attack you, you will be a failure. Now you show life what's up. You show boot camp what's up. Come on. I hear your son. He can be quite the, quite the motivator. What would he tell you right now? Keep going, Mom. So what are you gonna do? Keep going. I have to do this. I have to make my family proud. I have to make my son proud. And I pushed through. Oh, that bad. Hey, however you gotta get there. If this works, do it. Just hit that 220. I got good news for you. You're not slowing down anymore. You're actually speeding up. As she was going through that workout, I realized that Pearls is a lot tougher than I gave her credit for. You've got one left. And this time, you're on your own. She just kept going and going and going. Come on, Pearls! You got this! I know that voice in her head was screaming for her to quit. But she kept fighting it, and she kept going. No, stop. No, stop. You got this. And that's what I want to see. <laughs> Done. This is your fastest time yet. 414. When was the last time you started to feel like this about yourself? When Mason was born. That was the only time I felt worth anything. When he was born. It's the last time I did something huge. <laughs> and this feels like that. Get used to it, because we're going to do some huge things this year. I'm ready. Coming up. You do have a tear in your medial meniscus. So what type of treatment can pearls get? It will completely take you off your knees for probably two months. I don't want to be sidelined. 
Today I'm taking pearls to get some nutrition advice from our celebrity chef, Rocco Despirito. So as you know, Rocco Despirito is a world-renowned chef. He's amazing at everything, including helping us figure out healthy options at a restaurant. Thank you. Yeah. Are you blushing? Well, I don't know what y'all are going to ask. Why are you so quiet well, today? Like super I don't blushing. Know. Is Rocco sitting across the table from you? Oh, come on. Your cheeks are the color of your lipstick. <laughs> I'm going to start blushing. Y'all better stop. Stop. <laughs> it was really cool to meet Rocco. Very surreal, very exciting. I was kind of embarrassed and blushing because he is adorable. Tiffany has food anxiety when it comes to anything that is out of her control. What, what happens when you got to eat? Because the calories aren't listed and stuff, I get super overwhelmed that I'm going to eat too many calories or I'm not eating the right thing. Take control. This is your home while you're here. What do you see on the menu that you like to eat and you know is good for you? I would probably go for the steak salad. Okay. I love steak and I would not do the shoestring potatoes. I would do a salad with maybe a small baked potato on the side. Or, or the sweet potato or fries sweet... baked instead of fried? Absolutely. Pearl's got a history of eating disorders and it's left her sort of disabled when it comes to restaurants. I would like the black and blue sirloin steak salad. What I tried to do was show her how accommodating a restaurateur can be. And didn't you say you wanted the, uh, uh, the sweet side, potato? Yeah, a side of sweet potato fries. Okay. Could you bake those instead of frying them? Sure. Anything is possible if you ask for it. I'll have dinner with you anytime. All right. Oh. Feel anxiety, you just call me up. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> I am 36 years old, and I've never done anything athletic. Now's my turn, finally. Let's go get it, come on. We're gonna go a little bit steeper, okay? It's like running at the beach. I just feel like a badass. There we go, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, good job. Talked to Mason today? I did. How's he doing? He told me today that he loved me more than video games, <laughs> so that is a breakthrough. Oh my so gosh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a big deal. I know you have this amazing relationship with Mason, but I also know that you miss your stepson. Yeah. I really think it might be a good idea for you to at least reach out to your ex. Okay. What do you have to lose? You know? Yeah. You call him with a good heart. You want nothing more than to love Chris and to see him. So give it a shot. Yeah. You never know what you can accomplish just by asking. It's Tiffany. Hey. I just wanted to talk to you for a second. I'm kind of going through some stuff in my life where I'm kind of rebuilding some things uh, to make a better life for me and Mason. And um, there's some things that I haven't settled and a lot of them are with you. I know with our divorce, like that was gonna happen, but I have, but I have a really hard time that um, in all of it that I lost contact with Chris. And I was just wondering if, if there's any chance at all that you would allow me to see him and let him know that I still love him. Uh, maybe in like a public place. Let me look at my schedule and see when I'm going up there next. Okay. And uh, I'll figure something out, so. Thanks, so text me or, or whatever and I can call you back or whatever. Yeah. Bye. Uh, bye. It's been three years since I was raising him. Uh, I know he's grown up and I'm, I'm really excited to see his sweet face and give him a hug. Have you seen my cheese puff, baby? No. No. <laughs> it's tough not having Mason here, but my cheese puff baby <laughs> is with me always. Gotta grab my workout bag and this dang cheese puff baby. It is super annoying to have to carry it to every single workout. I haven't wanted to eat it. <laughs> and um, so I guess it's working that they're making me carry this around. I just despise it at this point. <laughs> Pearls has been complaining about her knee, so I had her meet with Dr. Holly, and Dr. Holly went ahead and sent her in for an MRI. So when did your knee start hurting? Uh, it started hurting intense, like the second week here, and it would mainly just aggravate it the harder I went. How come I didn't know this? Part of my transformation I have to learn, too. Ask is, for help? Yeah, ask for you help. You can't be I didn't say anything. too tough. Yeah. Hi. Hey, finally got the results of the MRI back, and you do have a tear in your medial meniscus. So what type of treatment can Pearls get? We can go down a more conservative approach, which is to completely take you off your knee for probably two months. Oh, two months? Wow. OK. Whoa. You doing OK? I'm sad because I really like going hard. And I've never in my life liked working out <laughs> until now. And I don't want to sit the bench, you know? I don't want to be sidelined. I hear you. 
But I don't think you need to stop going hard. I think you just need to stop going hard on your knee. Okay. It doesn't matter what injury you have, Chris and I will always find a way for you to work around your injury and complete your transformation. It's gonna be important that we make sure she does the right things to help her keep losing weight. The big key though, is you absolutely have to be 100% on your diet. You don't really have a lot of room for slip ups. Okay. You know, you probably aren't gonna be able to expend quite as much calories and activity as you would. The thought of not eating came to my mind instantly. I've done it so many times before and that's how I cope sometimes is just by not eating. When you do have an injury, you probably aren't gonna be able to expend quite as much calories and activity as you would. Okay. You and nutrition. Yeah. This is going to be a scary step for you to take because I do not want you to start restricting yourself. I know. You know my brain. I know. You cannot do that. This time more than ever, it's gonna be important for her to make sure her nutrition is totally dialed in. Not only that she's not eating too many calories, but that Pearls isn't eating too few calories as well. well let's go play around in the gym and go All see right. what we can make happen, okay? Cool. A knee, luckily, is something that's so easy for us to work around. She can do the arm bike, she can do swimming. She just really can't do any jumping, running, pounding on her knee. Push! Come on, do this for me. Yep. So it's gonna be important that we stay aware of that and we make sure she does the right things to help her keep losing weight. Going down, come on, push. Three, two, one. It's been a couple of weeks since Pearl's talked to her ex and when they spoke on the phone, I heard him tell her that she could see Chris, but he won't return calls, he won't return texts, nothing. And I really don't want Pearls to become more distracted by this than she already is. So I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and I'm gonna give him a call. Hello. Hi, is this Okay. Hey, I am actually Tiffany's trainer here, and I know she has been talking back and forth with you about potentially seeing your son, and I just wanted to follow up on that and see what hopefully we can make happen. I appreciate the, the opportunity and the offer, but I, I think that's like a, a chapter that would best be left for. She had so much hope that she would actually get to see him. Um, I would love if there's just any way possible you could consider one more goodbye. I'm trying to be honest with you now. I feel like it's here and it's going to have back to me. If I let her see him again, she's going to have to decline. You know, on one hand, I really feel for Pearls because she still feels like Chris is a son of her own. If Pearls walked in and hugged her stepson again, it would be like ripping a Band-Aid off. Thanks for talking. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. This is a chapter of Pearl's life that I want her to be able to close once and for all, but as much as I want to talk to her about this now, I think it's important that I wait until after her 90-day weigh-in so she can focus on weight loss first, this other part of her life second. Just got some great news from Dr. Holly. The results came in, Pearl's knee is healed, and she is cleared to run again. But tonight's a 90-day weigh-in, and I'm just hoping it's not too little too late. Hey! hey. So you still got the cheese puff, baby. Yeah, it is gross. I can feel that thing. It's gross, but you know what? I would never eat it. It's still sealed. It's it still is still sealed. intact. You know what? Hold on one sec. <laughs> I think it's time to open up Cheese Puff Baby and see what's in there. Ugh. Ew. It was just this disgusting, oily, orange, like, crusty powder. And it made me wonder, how on earth could you live off of this for so long? I can't believe that I put bags and bags of that into my body. So Oof. did it work? Yes, it worked. Do you never, ever, ever want a cheese puff again after this? Never. This right here is 1,500 calories. Ew. This pile of dust. This is a day's worth of food for you. You could do this, or you could do real, whole, natural food. I know which one I'm gonna choose. <laughs> Not that. Well, one of them got you here. Yeah. And the other one put you there. Holy moly. Here we are. This is a 90-day weigh-in. It's a moment of truth. Pearls, 90 days ago, when you stepped on the scale, you weighed in at 296 pounds. You gave yourself the goal to lose 76 pounds. So if you step on that scale and it says 220 or less, you hit your goal and he has to run the high heel run with you. <laughs> Yay. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and take off your shirt, take off your shoes and step onto the scale. Pearls, 
90 days ago, when you stepped on the scale, you weighed in at 296 pounds. You gave yourself the goal to lose 76 pounds. So if you step on that scale and it says 220 or less, you hit your goal, and he has to run the high heel run with you. <laughs> Yay. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and take off your shirt, take off your shoes, and step onto the scale. If someone told me I would lose 81 pounds in three months, I would think that they were nuts or that I was gonna have to starve to death to get there. You put your goal by five pounds. It's awesome. I just made healthy changes and got an amazing result from it. All right, well, big day tomorrow. Okay. It's gonna be goodbye. But first, I better get fitted for some heels, huh? <laughs> let's have some fun tomorrow, huh? What do you say? Uh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> what size are you? Maybe you can just borrow some of yours. I think he's a bigger size. I don't know. What's that? <laughs> oh boy, girls. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared right now. Girls did hit her 90 day goal, and I did make her a promise. What did I get myself into? If she hit her goal, I would do a high heel run with her. Boy, Hug her up, Buttercup. <laughs> Complete with pearls and lipstick. I know. I couldn't be happier doing this. I'm so You excited. hit your goal, so let's go rock this. Yes, sir. Let's All right? Do it. Okay. All right. I actually asked him, um, have you done this before? <laughs> because he seemed pretty comfortable in the heels. You guys are going down. You're going down. And so I was like, have you been in Heidi's closet? Here we go. Oh, geez. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Holy. Oh, my gosh. As soon as the gun went off, these guys looked like Michael Johnson out there and I'm just shuffling. My feet are killing me. I honestly, I don't know how you do this. You look pretty. <laughs> Thank you. It was a 500 meter run. It felt like a five mile run. I see the finish line. It's up ahead. My quads and my calves were on fire. <laughs> that was no joke. It's awesome. You did it. Such a rush. I was so ready for this. The high heel run was the best 30 minutes of boot camp ever. <laughs> Look how she moves in those heels. That's what I'm watching. Today we're sending Pearls back home to be with Mason. We've equipped her with all the tools that she needs, but now the rubber's about to hit the road, and we're gonna see if she's truly ready for phase two. For your phase two goal, Chris and I want you to lose 45 pounds. Big goal. You're gonna wanna hit that goal, because when you first came to boot camp, you told me and Chris that you wanted to do an acrobatic silk performance, right? Right. So for your six month milestone, you are gonna train with the Cirque du Soleil performers. Oh my gosh. Yes, can you believe it? <laughs> I wanna do it so bad. Uh, freaking amazing. I'm nervous but excited. Well, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I know you've had a hard time getting a hold of your ex, so I contacted him and asked to set up a meeting with you and Chris. But he politely declined because he feels like it's just not the right thing for him to do for his son. While I wish there was a way for you to see Chris, we have to respect what he says. Yeah. But he did say he offered for you to write a letter, mail it to his house, and he promised me he would read it to him. Let's just write a new chapter. We gotta push forward and be Mason's mom and not cry over the past. I know this is hard. Three months ago, this news would have made me a bag of cheese puffs, but boot camp has made me so much stronger. Instead of dwelling on the past, I know that I need to move forward. Bye, you guys. Bye, Mwah. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you, babe. See ya. I have a 15-year-old kid waiting for me to cheer me on. It's just a new part of my journey. Mason and I had to take Tiffany to the airport and say goodbye for three months. I haven't got to see her either, and I'm like, anxiety to the max, because I miss her so bad. I want to see her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I want to introduce to y'all Tiffany. Pearls. This is the first time that I've seen her look this amazing in a long, long time. It's amazing. I'm so proud. Seeing Mason for the first time, I just thought, wow, this is surreal. Like, I'm finally able to hug my boy. What a journey this has been. I went in with a goal to lose 76 pounds, and I lost 81. 
When I found out my mom lost 81 pounds, that makes me think that she can conquer things. And I know she can because she doesn't give up. I still have nine months to go. I'm not there yet. And I have got to really buckle down. You guys, I hope that y'all all help me live healthy. And if that means I say, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pass on that cake, just say, OK, and take it away from me kind of quickly. Because <laughs> my reveal was a sea of familiar faces full of love. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my heart was just so grateful. <laughs> Getting cookie on your head, Hobart, like always. I love you. I'm excited to be getting back into the groove of things at home. Now I just have to make big changes in my home setting and in my life, and I'm all in. I'm ready to do this. We are weighed out chicken, and I feel like a crack dealer because <laughs> I've got baggies of chicken and chicken I'm cutting up, and I'm trying to weigh it out perfectly, and I look like I'm a drug pusher. And why are you doing it in your sports bra? Because that's how they do in all the movies when they're portioning out crack and cocaine. <laughs> it might help the weight. Anything I can do. Pearls is an autism activist, and this week she's actually hosting one of her autism awareness events right here in her hometown. Thank you all for coming to our annual pumpkin painting party. All of your precious kiddos have autism, and it still affects one out of every 68 children in the United States. So Chris and I wanted to help her out by calling up a good friend of ours who's actually a pretty big name in the world of autism awareness. It really means a lot when all of you come together for events like this. It makes you strong. It makes you a strong... No way! In the first hour of extreme weight loss, the Pals chose single mom and autism activist Pearls for the transformation of a lifetime. We need sugar. You have to be okay with feeding your body. Despite past struggles with an eating disorder, Pearls lost 81 pounds the right way. And that was just phase one. In the second hour, Pearls and her son each have the chance to meet their heroes. Oh my gosh, Holly Robinson, Pete. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Seth Rollins, the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And Pearls learns to let go of her past as she takes on a high-flying milestone like no other. I love it! But when things hit a snag, can Pearls hold on to her healthy habits? I am so over it. Thank you all for coming to our annual pumpkin painting party. Pearls is an autism activist, and this week she's actually hosting one of her autism awareness events right here in her hometown. So Chris and I wanted to help her out by calling up a good friend of ours who's actually a pretty big name in the world of autism awareness. It really means a lot when all of you come together for events like this. It makes you strong. It makes you a strong... No way! <laughs> I'm Holly Robinson Pete, and I'm the co-founder of the Holly Rod Foundation. I wanted so bad to get you at our conference. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, Holly Robinson Pete. The mission of the Holly Rod Foundation is to help families affected by autism and Parkinson's disease, both of which affected my my son and my dad. So here's the deal. I came all the way here from Los Angeles, and <laughs> Tiffany. I have to tell you, I'm so blown away by what you do for so many. Thank you so much. I was so excited because she is one of my autism mom heroes. I mean, she has been on the autism scene, and I have wanted to meet her for years. I mean, look what you've done for yourself, but look how much you give back to so many children. <laughs> Thank I was you. sneakily eavesdropping listening to what you say, and autism is so prevalent in this country right now, and the only way we can get through this is with people like you. Thank you. So thank you so much. The devastation of finding out that your kid has autism is it's something you really can't put into words. But I remember very clearly the day we were told by a doctor that our son had autism. He was only three years old. And then she ran down a list of things that he would never do. He would never have friends, never go to mainstream school. And now he's going to mainstream school and he has friends. He has a beautiful life. Um, and I often say that you know, I wouldn't change my son for the world, but I would change the world for him. Holly is so strong and so beautiful, and she inspires me to be a better autism advocate and mom. I wanted to tell you that the Holly Rod Foundation wants to donate $10,000 to your organization. So this that's for you, for the organization, and I hope you can do something amazing with it. Oh, my gosh. You can do amazing things. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, I get it. Can I get a high five up here? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know Tiffany will be successful this year. 
I feel like she's already reached her goal in many ways. <laughs> Mason, are you playing football or what? She took time to take care and better herself, and that's gonna only help her and her son and her family. Hi. Hi, Tiffany. For Pearl's milestone, I'm actually sending her to perform with Cirque du Soleil, but I don't want her to show up unprepared. So for phase two, I'm actually gonna have her work with some local people and learn some tricks on silks of her own. Think about your target. Your target is to get your feet up here. You got this. <laughs> Big breath, don't be scared. <laughs> up, come here, come here. Good job, straddle out, straddle out. Good. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Look at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm doing this. This is my third week doing aerial silks. I'm working on my core, I'm working on my arms, and I really feel like I'm getting the hang of it. I noticed like a really cool battle wound. <laughs> See it? It's from going upside down in the silks and just flipping and all the pressure going on my shoulders. It kind of looks like I got a hickey, but I swear it's not. It's from my boyfriend, the silks. So. Here you go, Punch. Oh, thank you, Mom. Welcome. You made me a little burrito. My ex-husband believes that it's not in my stepson's best interest for me to see him again. How do you feel about not getting to see your brother? You no, know, it's a sad thing. I do got to admit, I do miss him. So you want to write him a letter? Yeah. Okay. And that's going to be a big part of my transformation, letting go of my stepson. And you know I'm going to have to write Bear Bear, because that's what we always called him. And saying goodbye in a way that I can, which is writing a letter. And that's um, going to have to be good enough. Very hard to write the letter, because it's so final. To know that I'm not going to get to hug him one more time, it breaks my heart. Will you read me your letter? OK. okay. To Bear Bear. Hey, buddy. It's me, Mason. How's it been going? I'm sorry I can't see you, but at least I can send you a letter. We miss you badly. And sorry about the terrible handwriting. If you ever see Jonathan, tell him I said hi. Sincerely, Mason. That's sweet. OK, read me yours. Bear Bear, we miss you so much. I'm so sad I won't get to see you or hug you one last time. It breaks my heart to know that I can't be in your life. I want you to know that I will always love you and pray for you every single day. I wish I could see you grow up. I wish Mason and I could take you to the water park and we could go get snow cones. I love and miss you, Bear Bear, so much. I wish I had the chance to say goodbye. I hope you know how much I love you and remember all the great times. That's all I have so far. I think that's a full-on letter. Yeah. It's a full-on letter. I, think... <laughs> I felt peaceful afterwards. Like, I felt like, OK, I'm, I'm dealing with this. This is true transformation. This is something I would have never done. I would have never let go before. OK, well, let's go mail this. I will always love him. I will always miss him. And there will be little things that remind me of him. But right now, I've let go, and my focus is myself and Mason. Coming up. Bring her up. More, 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 more. Pearls is up 30 plus feet in the air, and they're about to drop her. Right leg off. Today I'm in Wichita Falls. I'm gonna weigh pearls in for the first time in three months, and I cannot wait to see how she looks. How are you? Oh my goodness! Look at you! Thank you. <laughs> I mean, my eyes. Pearls looked absolutely amazing. Just look at her shoulders and her hips. It's pretty well known that when you lose weight, you lose from the top down. The fact that pearls' butt and thighs have gotten so thin in just a three-month period of time is a testament that she may very well be close to her end weight. You ready for this? Yes, ma'am. All right, Pearls, when I weighed you in 90 days ago, you weighed in at 215 pounds. I gave you the goal to lose 45 pounds in phase two. So if you step on the scale and you weigh in at 170 pounds or less, you hit your goal. OK. So whenever you're ready, take off your shoes and go ahead and step on the scale. Stepping on the scale, I know that I just crushed it. So I was excited to show her what I had done. Great job, Mom. You lost 50 pounds in phase two. You should be more excited. I, I'm so excited, but I don't ever want to be complacent. And so, yeah, boom, hit your goal. But you got another one coming. Good for you. And by the way, do you know what this means? What does this mean? It means you are 17 pounds away from 50% of your body weight. Oh, 17 man. pounds away from your final goal. <laughs> Doable. Let's do it. Amazing. Your mom's pretty incredible. Yep. Surprising uh. to know that she's already almost done with her third goal. I was definitely proud of my mom. Like. I was like, what, when I found out that she got to her goal. 
Well, guys, it's time to get some rest because we all have a fight to catch for your six-month milestone. You ready for this? I don't know. It's gonna be a big day. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Today, I have the performers of Cirque du Soleil, the show La Nuva, actually here to work with pearls. We're gonna put her skills to the test. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Wow. That was incredible. Thank you. <laughs> I do little baby things compared to that. <laughs> when the curtains open at the Cirque du Soleil tent, there is this hot, ripped guy lying at me. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany? Yes. This is David, Hi. Danielle, Hi. and Matthew. Nice Hi. to meet you. They are going to teach you a routine. And then you're going to perform. <laughs> Not just for us. Sounds like fun. But for the entire Lunuba staff. Nuh uh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah? I don't know if you thought you were coming to watch a show today, but you're getting on those silks. Oh. This is your six month oh. milestone. I felt a little unprepared when they gave me the challenge because I had not ever performed in anything of that caliber. Lanuba, Cirque du Soleil, that is the big dogs. That is freaking huge. Y'all know that I failed gymnastics class when I was in third grade. <laughs> I just thought you should know that. Relax. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to relax. I know. I just want it to be secure. Uh, it will be. <laughs> to be able to do the moves that they do up on these flimsy bits of silk takes a ton of core work and stability and just overall body musculature. And I just don't know how Pearls is going to measure up. Continue, continue, continue. Okay, okay stop. Go. And down. Oh, oh. That's it. Oh my God. You broke the ice. <laughs> Is you okay? I don't know, I shouldn't hold my breath. I'm just like... Yeah, I know, you because you don't know what to expect, you know? It's normal. David taught me what I needed to do to fly, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is scary. This is terrifying. Okay, cross legs, point right. toes. Oh. Perfect. Prettier. Beautiful. Good and stuff. And down. So down. Now the floor is coming. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. We just kept repeatedly trying to fly more and more. Marvelous. You okay. can go higher. You can go a little bit higher? It's a little bit, Mitch. Nice, there you go. And once I got to a certain level, I was like, oh yeah, game on. Take me all the way. I love it. You wait till it's you see okay. what you're gonna do. I can see. I love you're, it. You're like, gonna I'm fly. Like, fly me up there. <laughs> you're gonna fly. Let me it's fix so. my ponytail holder and let's just <laughs> fly. <laughs> let's do a little flight here. Yeah? Tight, 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 tight. Cross tight. Your legs. That's it. I love it! <laughs> it was the most exhilarating feeling to just let your arms out and let go. <laughs> I wanna go again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the floor's coming. Whoa. You're good. <laughs> the other thing that I'm going to take a look at with you, it's called a boudrier. It's a fall. I don't like drops. If you feel good with the fall, then we'll stick with this tissue. I have been practicing some drops, and they are terrifying. Imagine riding a roller coaster, but you're not strapped in. It's just like that. Bring her up. More, 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 more. Give her a little bit more. Nope. more oh, drop. I don't even want to look. Yeah. Can I close my eyes? You certainly can. Oh. And you think, when I let go of this, am I going to bust my head on this stage? That would be a travesty. Hold it on Hold on to the fabric in your hands. Don't let go. And you can take your leg off. One, two, three. Pearls is up 30 plus feet in the air. And they're about to drop her. There's a lot of trust. We got to trust the silk's going to hold her. And we got to trust that Pearls is doing what she should be doing. And her body's in appropriate shape to actually handle this kind of exercise. One, two, three. Right leg off. Woo! Okay, hold on to the fabric. You're good. Hold, it on, Hold on to the fabric in your hands. Don't let go. Pearls is up 30 plus feet in the air. It's absolutely terrifying. There's a lot of trust. We gotta trust the silk's gonna hold her. And we gotta trust that Pearl's body's in appropriate shape to actually handle this kind of exercise. Right leg off. This is good. Okay. From where I was sitting, I was terrified that we were gonna have our first broken back ever in extreme weight loss. Oh my God. That was freaking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like wow. shaking. You should be. To be able to perform the types of moves that Pearls is doing up there, it takes a tremendous amount of core strength and just strength in general. So it looks like you've got the tricks nailed down. We'll put you in makeup and we'll come back here to put everything together. Then after that, you'll be ready to present. Okay. I'm not so sure that Pearls is going to be able to pull off that drop. I mean, this is really where we see if those months and months of training are going to pay off.
Wow. I don't even feel like I will fit in this. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love it. They take me into hair and makeup, and I felt like a princess. Like, I couldn't even believe it. They had a costume just for me, and it was beautiful. I truly felt like a Lanuba performer. I felt like I'm, re I'm the real deal right now. I'm waiting backstage. I can hear everybody filing in and kind of talking, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I see the other aerial artists that were on stage with me file in, and I'm like, this is going down. And I was so nervous. <laughs> I'm really scared of the drop, but I knew when I heard the cue that I had to let go and, and go. I'm excited, but terrified all at the same time. was amazing. To see her strength and her power was absolutely incredible tonight. Have you ever seen anyone learn something so quickly? First time she went up in the air and came just a foot or two off the ground, there was a little bit of fear. And then the confidence started to happen. And then each swing, her face just glowed more and more. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody take so much pleasure in flying. I mean, kudos to all of you that do this. I mean, you guys inspired me as a 300-pound woman to say, when they said, what's the biggest thing that you could dream that you've always wanted to do that you could never, ever do in your life? And I was like, I want to do what they do. And thank you for giving me that chance. It's super crazy that just months ago, I was looking up Cirque du Soleil videos on my couch, 300 pounds, dreaming that I could do what they're doing. And now I'm like doing it. My dreams came true. Well, Ooh. I say we go get on some regular clothes, get okay. ready for the show, and come back and watch the professionals do it. For sure. Yeah? Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm going to keep some of this glitter, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> Every single bruise that I got during my aerial arts training prepared me for that moment. And I was so grateful that I got to actually do it and that these people are applauding for me. So pretty much my t-shirt says it all. I am so over it. The problem is I'm seeing the scale go up in weight and I feel fat. And I feel like, what if I can't get the weight off? One, two, one, two. You know, I finished my milestone and I wish I could go back and do that again. Like that was amazing. I felt on top of the world then. And I guess that that was such a good high being up in the air that this is a crash down low. I'm just feeling wore out. The truth is, as you get closer and closer to your ideal weight, you don't lose weight as quickly. And I think this is the case with Pearls. I just hope she doesn't resort to starving herself to lose weight as quickly as she can. You are beautiful. I, I want the first hug. When I saw Pearls, she looked amazing. But then again, she looked amazing three months ago when I saw her. And I really feel like at that point, she was really close to her ideal weight. I haven't seen you for months. Yeah. And you look incredible. Oh, wow. Thank and, you. How do you feel? You know, phase three's been tough. I feel like I'm pushing so hard, but my number's not moving. You're um, about to cry. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm about to cry all the time because I'm struggling. When you when you know that you've earned something, when you've worked so hard and you know that you've earned it, but it doesn't show on the scale, it makes you feel defeated. Just hearing these struggles, I worry about your eating. Yeah. Has it been hard for you to put food in your mouth? I had a moment and I, you know, um, I, the scale was up and I freaked out. I wanted to take laxatives. I wanted to skip eating for three days. 
I honestly thought I'm not gonna pack my meals today. And then I called you and you were like, trust the process, trust me and pack your meals. So that's exactly what I did. All right. Oh, well, we have a big night tonight. Yeah, we do. I almost reverted back to my 14 year old self, you know, terrified of food, hating myself. I couldn't get past what I saw in the mirror. I saw a fat girl. Bye, you, you look guys. beautiful. Thank you. And so going into the nine month weigh in, I felt a little defeated. Well, tonight we find out if you qualify for us to walk you into the skin surgeon. Well, last time I weighed you in, you were 165 pounds. We wanted you as close to 50% of your body weight as possible. You ready to step on the scale? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Standing on that scale, every bad feeling I ever had about myself came back. I felt like I had let myself down, and I felt like a failure. <laughs> All right, well, last time I weighed you in, you were 165 pounds. We wanted you as close to 50% of your body weight as possible. You ready to step on the scale? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. In phase three, you lost four pounds. Come here. It's okay. Oh. What's going on? I just don't feel like I'm good enough. I just don't. It trips me up, but I just don't feel like I'm good enough. I think it just makes my weight loss no. <laughs> slow even more. And Pearls, you are good enough. Pearls tell me that she doesn't feel like she's good enough. Broke my heart. And this is where we really need to be careful with pearls because the last thing I want to do is push pearls back into those negative eating patterns that she experienced for so many years of her life. Can you give me a number on how many moments over the last three months that the old pearls would have turned to food and the new pearls didn't? How many moments? Countless. <laughs> okay, multiply that by 90 days. <laughs> and that's, that's just those individual victories. So who says you're not good in that? you're still at 45% of your original body weight lost in nine months, which is huge. It's possible that your body is close to its goal weight right now. And it's just not gonna burn much more fat. I mean, seeing the doctor tomorrow is going to open our eyes big time to the reality of that. No need to get down on yourself now. Okay. See what the doctor says. I'm so much more than that number. And would I want my son to see me beat myself up? No, I want him to think that I'm amazing. I want him to see that I'm amazing. And what's gonna do good is if I use this setback to propel me forward and knock out phase four. All right. Thank y'all. This is Pearls. And you do have some problem areas you'd like us to take a look at? For sure. I guess mainly my stomach mm -hmm. okay. is, is like popping open a can of biscuits right Okay. Here. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Wow, this feels a lot like just excess skin. You seem to have deflated much of your abdomen here. So the doctor's pulling on my skin, and my hips look like some MC Hammer pants. I could show you some numbers from your, your body composition analysis. Okay. You started this journey at about 57% body wow. fat, and you're down to 27%. Good. That's incredible. That's good. And that puts you in a very, very healthy range and uh, makes you an excellent candidate for skin surgery. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just really, really ready hard. to get rid of that. <laughs> All right, well, it's wonderful to meet you. Thank it's you. Good to meet you. Okay. Thank you so much. Awesome Sorry, I'm surgery. Sorry. Removing that skin signifies seven years of my life that I beat my body up and I didn't take care of myself. Your hard work paid off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so I'm trading all that skin that represents that for a scar that is like my trophy. <laughs> Even though I had a crappy phase, like, I just, let's just make phase four, like, bust this out. I'm ready to just get it done, get it cut off. You know, there's only two things missing now. Mason and your pearls. Mason doesn't do well seeing me in pain. So I, I really want to shield him from that. And I want to be strong for him. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, the pearls are a problem. I can't I say, what are we going to do about <laughs> those pearls, huh? Because you must be feeling a little uh, naked without them. Yes. You know what, though? We'll have them waiting for you. Don't okay. worry. We're not going anywhere. All right. There they are. Hi. Hi. Good. 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 Good.
I'm ready to get it taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call Thank Mason. You. We'll let him know you're doing well. Perfect. All right. In three months at the finale, I will be small for once in my life. Have a nice little nap. All right. Nice. <laughs> it's going to be weird, but I'm looking forward to seeing the new me. Excited to see pearls. Well, she is on her way here right now. If anyone was to go up to pearls and say, "Pearls, who are you?" she would say, "I'm a mom," and she is one of the best mothers I have ever come across in my life. Mason was born with autism, and from the moment she realized he was autistic. She became involved in autism awareness. She made it her life goal to support Mason and everyone going through the same thing. She truly is an example to me of how I should mother my kids. You see the way that she loves, and you're just like, "Wow, she loves you, Mason." She does. And now, when Mason was younger, Pearls married for the second time to a man who had a son, and in the process, Pearls became the stepmother to a wonderful little boy. Through a nasty divorce, Pearls could never see him again, and that loss was so incredibly devastating to Pearls that she turned to food for comfort, and she grew to 296 pounds. Food for Pearls was something she struggled with in the past. She suffered from anorexia and bulimia, so needless to say, Pearls' journey was full of struggles. But I think Pearls really did transform. Are you guys ready to see her? <laughs> Gentlemen, put your hands together for the all-new Pearls. My mom, she looks gorgeous. I am very proud of my mom, and I always have, and I always will be. Girls, this is a night you've been dreaming of. Yes, ma'am. For over a year now. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be here? I feel like all of my dreams have come true. I feel like I've won the lottery. I see my boy over there, and he's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good mom. Thank you. I'm a better mom now. Huh? You've always been a good mom. <laughs> What are you talking about? I know part of this journey for you is going to be paying it forward. One of them being with your boy. Yep. Mason decided to lose weight, and I started helping uh, him learn how to meal prep. And then this past week, something really cool happened. He met someone very, very special, and he has worked out every day since then. He actually lost 12 pounds this week, and uh, overall, he has lost 25. Wow. Amazing. Mason, who was the special person you got to meet? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the WWE champion Seth Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> I think Chris had a little something to do with that, didn't he? Oh yes. So, do you guys want to see the workout that they did together? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two. All right. Nice. Do it again. One, two. Good. I'm Seth Rollins, the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. How's it feel? Feels great. Gets the heart rate up, huh? Yep, I'm feeling it. Dude, if you think boxing with me is a tough workout, 
I brought a friend who's gonna put you through an even tougher workout. Uh, Mason, turn around. Wait, oh. Oh, man. What up, man? <laughs> you ready for a real workout or what? At first I was thinking, oh, maybe it's one of Chris's friends. But <laughs> as soon as I saw Seth Rollins, I couldn't blink. Like, it was that amazing. How are you? I'm Pleasure to good. meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. I see you've uh, made some excellent style choices today. Why, well, yes. <laughs> I respect what he does, and I'm one of his biggest fans. I might not be his biggest biggest, but I'm a big fan. I mean, there's other people out in the world who are probably bigger fans, but I'm a big fan of Seth Rollins. This man right here is inspired by what you've done. Yeah, man, they've been telling me about what's been going on with you guys, and it's pretty awesome. So if you'd be willing to, I'd like to get a little bit of a workout on with you. I'm ready. You sure? I'm very sure. All right, three rounds for time, 10 push-ups, 10 squats, five shuffles around the ring. Chris called me up. Uh, he briefed me on the situation, told me about Pearls and Mason, and he asked me to come in and have a little workout with Mason. All right, Mason, show him what you got, buddy. To me, it's extremely important to motivate our youth to live a healthy lifestyle. You know, you start them young, you know, create good habits, develop them over the years, and hopefully they can pass that along when they have kids of their own. Two more, come on, man. You're almost All there. Right. Mason was pretty cool and let me push him. Did you ever think you'd be staring across the ring from the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? I didn't think I'd see the day. <laughs> the moves were easy, except for the push-ups, because, you know, I never done 30 push-ups. Whether I don't like it or I do, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to just be like, no, sorry, Seth, I'm, I gotta go. I gotta walk out the door because I'm not gonna work out. No, that's not me. I don't care how much it takes. I will do it, and I will do it right. And that's the bottom line, because Mason said so. Mason, you're doing great, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Mason kicked butt in the workout, man. He was awesome. He almost catching me on that shuffle. Finish strong. That's it. Breathe, baby, breathe. There it is, five. All right. Yeah. Oh, Done three. did it, brother. Done did it. The fact that I went three rounds in the ring with Seth Rollins means to me a accomplishment. I mean, heck, I feel unstoppable right now. Even if my legs are shaky, even my arms hurt. Still on your feet so much so that I think maybe you should, you should hold on to this for a little while, huh? There you go. Meeting Mason was actually pretty incredible for me. I know he's in here wearing my t-shirt talking about how I'm his hero, but um, it kind of feels the other way around when I come in here and share some time with him. I won't give up. We listen to you, all right, man? All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You're an inspiration to me. You're an inspiration to me. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Mason, you did great. What was that like for you? It was amazing. I was like, is this really happening? Or is this <laughs> like, am I a dream? Because I'm going to like pinch myself. Do you think she's going to hit her goal tonight? For sure. 100%. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, Pearls, I know one of your biggest goals was to reach 50% of your original body weight. Yeah. Do you think you did it? Only that'll tell us. It's time to weigh in. Okay. All right, Pearls. When I first weighed you in, the scale read 296 pounds. You're aiming for 50% of that. So if the scale today says 148 pounds or less, you hit your goal. Go ahead and take your final step onto the scale. What the hell? I used to be hot. I used to be beautiful. Like, what happened? I don't want to be living on energy drinks every day just to be able to stay up. I want to just live a healthy life. So hard to breathe up here. You're two minutes in right now. Oh, no. And you're falling behind. <laughs> Now's my turn, finally. Your target is to get your feet up here. Ooh. Look at that! You can go higher. Let's just fly. All right, Pearls, when I first weighed you in, the scale read 296 pounds. You're aiming for 50% of that. So if the scale today says 148 pounds or less, you hit your goal. Go ahead and take your final step on the scale.
candidate of her original body weight. Wow. I feel like the king of the world right now. I never thought that I could feel so proud of myself. I never could show him what true self-esteem was. And, and I um, now feel like I'm a model for that. Something we've always talked about is your journey's not complete until you pay it forward. I'm ready. You ready for someone that's ready? Yes. Well, Pearls, this is a one-week scholarship to Destination Boot Camp at the Anschutz Health and Wellness Center. This is for you to give to anyone you feel is ready to embark upon that journey. Do you have anyone in mind? Mm -hmm. When I was at my biggest, and I had no job, and I was uh, lonely and broken, she believed in me, she gave me a job, she told me I was good enough, and she didn't waver from that. Dawn, I want to give it to you. When Pearls paid it forward to me for the Extreme Weight Loss Destination Boot Camp, I was so excited. I can't wait to take that journey and really learn how to properly do my food. One thing left to do. What's that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the all new Pearls! <laughs> can't believe it. This is the very first time I've ever been thin and healthy, except for when I was like in third grade, maybe. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Thank what you. you've accomplished this year is nothing short of incredible. It's amazing. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without all of those panic texts and phone calls. You get the eating disorder. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt when I came here that you could help me through that piece and that Chris understands it from living with you. So thank you. I love you guys. I love you too. So much. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> I did it. And I did 50%. <laughs> the best transformations ever. Actually. Thank you. It would be my fault if he became obese. Because I taught him that. I taught him those habits. I took him to the drive-thru. He doesn't drive yet. New habits, new life. No more drive-thru. We're going to live healthy now together, Mason and I. I'm so excited about our future.